Greetings, humans. Spinning Mantis here with the next episode of The Long Dark Interloper. Thanks for joining me. Well, what day is this? Like day seven? Um, you know, we're real hungry and stuff, but we're, we're actually making it right now. So we kind of got stuck in here yesterday because of some two wolves outside we couldn't get back into our home to Quonset so we don't have anything to fend them off with so let's see where are the wolves Come on now. <clears throat> Shoot. Well. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. We just got in. Oh wow. Oh wow. That's what we needed. Alright. We need these things to cure up so we can try to go fishing. So right now we're basically stuck inside because of these freaking wolves. So, we got 13 hours of daylight. That's fine. We can pass time. Um, but it would probably be good to cook this fish before it goes bad. So that is what we're going to do. Maybe save that for outside. Probably should have checked how much wood Come on, we had. Perfect. Okay, that worked. Two of those. Let's get that up. That'd definitely be a good thing. We can throw a piece of coal on in a few minutes. Ten more minutes for coal. So, that all looks fine. I think we got our best clothes on. It's weird, I haven't played this in a few days and I'm like mashing all wrong buttons and stuff. But... I do suppose we can just make some water. Let's go point six. I think we're gonna have to throw something on. Oh, I could eat anything right now. Six. Man, the weather got real bad outside. Hmm. Let's go point two and point two. So, what else is worth doing in here? I don't even think we could break these down. If we had a hammer, we could. We can. Alright, nine hours of daylight. That's good. Let's go ahead We're and drop some of this wood. Something to eat. <laughs> drop. Drop. 
drop all of them. Alright, that's looking good. So, now the question is, are we still completely trapped by those wolves? Or have they gone away? to get somewhere today because we're not I mean we definitely have to wait for shoot oh man oh man Where's he at? <sighs> well, I didn't see him. Shoot, shoot, shoot. <sighs> Dang. Oh, I think we have to go for it. I gotta get somewhere today. Okay. Is he on my tail? He is not. Alright. Well, while we're waiting for that gut, we're gonna have to do some exploring. So this guy, it'd be nice if we could get the wolves to kill him for us. So let's try. We'll drive him over towards our camp. The wolves. Shoot, there's one right there. Could have driven him the other way. Hmm. This will come in handy. All right, y'all. Probably is the best bet to try to get at some of the islands because there's lots of loot opportunities in the island houses. out here. Can be a bear. So we will approach with caution. Is 
not seeing a wolf or a bear from far away. And an interloper's bear will straight up attack us. Oh, I just get the sense. He's going to be around the corner and he's going to go for us. Sorry for the curse. Uh oh. That bear. Not happy with us. Can we not get up here? Oh, weak. Right, let's try the back side of the island. Hopefully, he's not aggro. He was just, uh,. Interested in peeking at us. I just had the feeling he was there. <laughs> Aggro you pretty easy. All right. So the general strategy is when you can avoid it during the day, um, don't eat food because if you save it or when you go to sleep, you will regenerate as you sleep and your health will improve. Whereas if you eat food during the day, you're just going to burn it off in your activities. So um, you'll regain more sleeping with food in your stomach than you will doing things during the day with no food in your stomach. So like you can go a whole day and maybe you'll lose 10 points of health from being super hungry from starving. But if you sleep during the night um, without being in the starving state, you will gain back like 15 points. So overall it's a net positive to save your food for when you go to sleep but there's other reasons why okay. you would want to it's like when you're already injured and at low health and you're gonna have to travel you want to make sure you can survive something you may very well have to go ahead and bite the bullet and eat during the day but yeah the general strat is don't eat during the day unless you absolutely have to That was good, we found a few things in here. Ski jackets. used to have a dresser when I was growing up that kind of looked like that. It was ugly. It wasn't wood, it was just like plastic. It's heavy duty plastic stuff. And had like those gold painted motifs on it. I 
think I may have been okay with the amount of cloth I had. I think I put some away. I had so much. Alright, seven hours a day that I left. I'm going to eat this because it's going bad. Should allow us to heal up a little bit as we do our thing. So the goal now is going to be to get to the other... The other... Island. Okay, I do think that's it. Now the other island more often I think has wolves on it. Because that's Jackrabbit Island. Gotta be sure. Alright, let's make it to the other island before dark. Temp's only one down arrow, which is I'm gonna need to eat the best soon. we can really hope for. this anymore. So the long term sh Ooh. long term strategy for this zone is to <gasps> oh. oh my god. <sighs> so cold. So cold. Wow, okay, so that's new. I mean, I'm not making excuses, um, but I really did not know that was there or was not there last time. I came this way. Um, they do change things from time to time. And I ran right into that. Time to fall through the ice. I immediately lost over 10 points of health. I'm not sure if there's a place we can start a fire in here, but we can hope. Too cold. Because if there is, we need to do it right away. Yep, and in this house, there is no place start a fire. So, I think what you can do here is you can <sighs> take off our wet clothes. And we're warming up. Now that we took off our wet clothes. Alright, so that's a new thing in the game. Hopefully this will allow us to actually survive this screw up here. Is it done 
ran right into the freezing water. So what's happening is we're kind of crashing out kind of fast. I think we need to stabilize in the bed with one hour of sleep. It should fix us. Or at least stabilize us. We're at 32. Our warmth is so very much better. Um, let's explore that and search all this stuff. It's hard to see. So right now I'm getting the uh, reflections issue recording during the day. And so I've got some right behind me. It's casting me really harsh. Harsh. Glow. John. I'm going to need to rest soon. Alright, we don't absolutely need it. Got lots of water though. Well, somehow I think we managed to survive. Falling in. We're drained. It's so bad outside, we don't even know what time it is. Alright, just want to check the floors and such. Don't want to miss anything. I'll take it. Vest. System of a down vest. Okay, we are exhausted, so we are oh, starting to just lay down and have a little sleep right here. Hurt ourselves. So let's nap for one more hour. Anything right now. That's disappointing. Could use something. Could. Need water. <sighs> so tired. Hungry, tired, I got hypothermia. Coffee. So coming up. Guess we want to get back to the other islands in the next episode. And or just back to the Quonset in the next episode. And then we will Fishing, tackle as soon as we can. Let's go ahead and make a ton of tea and a ton of coffee because I think that'll really help. Definitely has the potential to keep us going for a while. So, what are we looking like here? We are exhausted and ravenous. We're going to have to eat something. Those are drying out. I think the temperature in this place is fine. It is. That's four hours. <coughs> Back up to 
40% health, which is good. Again, I think we're going to... Oh, I can eat a horse. Go ahead and eat so that we can recover as much health as possible while we sleep. It's weird that uh, tomato soup doesn't help your thirst at all, but sardines do. And dog food. So... Let's uh, sleep for five hours. We are at 50% health, so... Really nothing else we can eat right now. Right, four hours of darkness left. Three points of health from starvation. Less than one hour of darkness left. I think. Let's check the status. I still have to remain above freezing for eight more hours. My stomach is. Wow. It's that's dangerous. That's tough. we're starving but we have survived yet another day it is day eight and um, yeah I hope you join me next time we will see how this all turns out um, if you enjoy the long dark and would like to see more it helps me out a whole lot when you like the videos you watch subscribe to the channel share with a friend that's gonna be all for now spinning mats out namaste